Hey guys, so this is where I'm at today. I'm going to take you around the site, see some nature, some wildlife. is a lot of times people will underestimate these animals and when they get chewed on by them they're making a mistake they reach for them they try to capture them or something like that this animal will latch down these uh, puffy spots on the jaw right here I'm gonna give them a gentle massage here now you're gonna start to see little bubbles forming on the lips and if I do that my finger is now wet that is pure venom on my wow. finger okay why is this not hurting me anybody know what because it has to um, be injected inside you for it to... Uh, exactly. It has to be in the bloodstream to do any harm. John Goodman, one of those guys with the big, uh, the big double chins. In the lizard world, this is the good stuff. The female lizards look at him and they're like, yeah, he's very, very important. Yeah, don't go in there. So this kind of shows that he's a very important, mature, big male. I mean, you see the muscles on his arms. I mean, this guy's like the bodybuilder of tegus. He's a, a big, tough, impressive boy. You getting fed up? can only do this for a few seconds and then he gets irritated. Once you guys are ready, let's go ahead and head down this direction. When you look at things in nature, it's just amazing the colors and things that will, will come out of, of some of these animals. find another specimen that's a female that has given parthenogenic birth, okay? She has never been with a male in her seven and a half year lifespan, yet she produced fertile eggs on her own. If you guys are curious what it's like when a cobra hoods up and kind of shows off here, I can give you guys a small taste of that if you guys want to kind of... Hey guys, this is the Western Diamondback Albino. He actually killed his owner. His owner was drunk, pulled him out with his friends, and he got bitten. Also in captivity, they become extremely heavy, as you can see, because we can feed them a lot better than the wild would, obviously. Because she looks like a giant green bean. This is a 13 foot, 110 pound anaconda. You guys can touch her on the side if you'd like. I just ask that you don't touch her face. Oh, okay. oh, sweetie pie. The only thing is, it shakes on the I know, the water gets everywhere. She is beauty. And she's not even close to full grown. 
She is considered an adult, but she gave birth this year to 12 little babies. Okay. Her and her boyfriend up here, you can see he's quite a bit different in size. But she's a, a beautiful animal. We love having her here. Highly aquatic species. This in the wild is considered the heaviest species of snake in the world. Um, the wild record for uh, heaviness on these guys, I think, was 275 pounds. He sells the thing Is that just being dropped off, is it? Yeah, this one was just dropped off, so this one isn't one that we know temperament. Well, just hasn't eaten in a while. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. No, I want to adopt the other one, but I have to find a bigger apartment first. Yeah. What species is it now? This is a boa constrictor, just a common boa constrictor. You'll hear them called red tail boas. Um, that's more of a nickname than an actual species name. And they're given that because if you look at the tail, it kind of has a reddish brown tint to it. Um, some of them, the true red tails that are from Peru and, and things like that, they're known as Peruvians, Surinams, Guyanan red tails. They have actually extremely brilliant red tails. Um, this one is just, you know, your plain Colombian. It'd be about double this thickness. Yeah. Okay. A lot of them that we have come in have, you know, a very uh, under underfed body weight, things like that. It takes some time to get that built up, but, you know, eventually they'll do it. Now, one like this, if she were to bite you, it's not going to hospitalize you and you're probably not going to need stitches, but it'll, you'll bleed. I mean, it's, the teeth are large and it doesn't feel great. But uh, when we get them in, the first thing I do, you saw how I grabbed her by the head and pulled up and I looked at the crease. They have a crease underneath their, their chin right here, where if they have mites or anything like that, you would see mites that gather in that crease. You see them around the eyes a lot of times. I always check the vent. This is the area where they would go to the bathroom if it has any bulges or you know anything build up anything like that we would look for any of that type of situation so just kind of look them over and this one looks really good just needs some food she's, she's so nice she though. came in like never but that just goes like to show you that oh, she's uh, snakes really don't so what species is lily brazilian, brazilian rainbow actually for a, a non-venomous like that you'll hear about people defanging venomous snakes that's still very inhumane yeah. mm. but that's taking all the teeth out that's a really really bad that's deal so. Are you nervous around snakes? I can feel my heart beat. <laughs> but I that just means you're normal. That, yeah. that just means that you that you are uh, smart. <laughs> this guy's a sweetie. Is it yeah, a girl? It's a girl. It's a girl. Yeah. I've had one in Vegas down mm -hmm. the strip. Yeah, I think she had been um, burnt. Someone had burnt her or oh, something, something like that. So this guy had said it was a proper rescue thing. But oh, good, good. Whether it was abused. Yeah. So who knows what she'd been through? We've had exactly. some come in with injuries, broken bones, you know, burns and. I'm yeah.